Hello, I'm Addie Shaney and here's what's trending. Atherton staff members are one step closer to being vaccinated against the coronavirus. Dozens of faculty members spent Wednesday at Broadbent Arena getting their first round of the shot. You can see some of their selfies here. Here's what some faculty members had to say about this extraordinary experience. Hey everybody, it's Miss Chancellor. Just got done with my vaccine and I'm not gonna lie, it was pretty emotional. I teared up. This has uh, been our reality for almost the last year and just to know there's a light at the end of the tunnel is just great. Um, quick, painless, um, caught up in a lot of podcasts waiting in line, but other than that, the shot itself was nothing. So I really hope this moves us one step forward to in-person school because I miss every single one of you and can't wait to see everybody back. Stay safe and do your NTI work. Hi, I'm Stephanie Hankins, and I just wanted to share with you a little bit about what it was like to get the first dose of the COVID-19 uh, vaccine today. I was very excited, and I'm so grateful to be given this opportunity um, to get the vaccination, so that was great. It was kind of a lengthy process. It took about two hours from the time I got to the fairgrounds until the time that I left, but it was very organized and efficient. Um, the volunteers were all very nice that were helping us. There were just a lot of people there getting their vaccinations. So I stayed in my car the whole time. I was able to do some reading while I was waiting. And then when I got the shot, it didn't hurt at all. And I felt great afterward. And I thought it was really funny. The uh, person who gave me the actual injection asked me all the normal health questions. And she also asked if I had a dog in the car uh, and wanted to make sure that I did not have my dog with me because apparently that's been um, a problem where people will bring their pets um, and then that, that kind of creates some, some difficulties to get their injection. So it was a great process and I'm really glad I was able to be a part of it. For some of our Atherton staff, the wait outside Broadbent Arena was a chance to catch up with coworkers. If the timing was right, many of them happened to be parked right next to one another in the line. Some teachers passed the time reading or playing on their phones, but Spanish teacher Miss Marzian decided to experiment with what media arts students do all the time. Here's her report. Hey Atherton, it's Miss Marzian. I'm wearing my I Survived the Atherton Blackout shirt, so Hopefully I can also survive the COVID vaccine today. I'm sitting in a parking lot at Broadbent Arena with tons of cars, so we'll see how quickly this goes. It's about 9.49. This is wild. There's all these rows of cars, and every so often we move up a little bit. We move up one little tiny row. So it's now 9.52, so it took three minutes to move one spot. Okay, this is where all the cars start up and move up a spot. It's 10.09 now, so that was a long wait. I think I see Mr. Owens up there. Hi, Mr. Owens. <laughs> Hi, Hannah. Hi, Mr. Stutz. Okay, here we go. It's 10.42. Moving up to second row. It won't be long now, said the monkey with his tail caught in the lawnmower. There goes Miss Swanson. I think Miss Campbell is next. This is an amazing operation. There she goes. Bye, Miss Campbell. Good luck. Woot woot. She looks bored. It's 11.02. She wants to tell us to move. I know she does. Any second now. It's my turn next. All the cars have gone. Here I go. Going this way. Thank you. Okay, I'm getting situated. I've got my arm out. Ready for a shot. Still waiting to get in the building. Having fun yet? <laughs> It's a beautiful day for a vaccine. So they just took my ID and brought it back and asked me a few questions, whether I had a fever and if I've been in quarantine or if I've gotten any vaccine in the last two weeks. And now they said I could put my ID away, um, but they said, make sure you don't get overheated in the car because they're gonna take my temperature. So I'm not too nervous about that, but it is pretty sunny out and it's warm in the car. So I think I'll be okay. Another thing that just occurred to me, what if my car dies and I'm in this line and I hold up all these people? Okay, that probably won't happen, but just in case. It's 
11.15 now. It's 11.21 and I'm getting ready to go into the tent of doom. I mean the tent of paperwork. And now we're really getting ready to go in. Stop here until flag to come forward. Okay. So I can follow that direction. Thank you and thanks for volunteering. Oh, stop. <laughs> What's your first name? My name is Faith. Faith, are you volunteering? I am. How long have you been doing this? Uh, actually since Monday, so it's my fourth shift. How do you like it? I love it. It's exciting to be a part of history. Awesome. Are you um, hoping to get the vaccine with the 40 hours? I am. Yes. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. What do you actually do for a living? I actually used to work on cruise ships. So oh, wow. Currently, I am just actually teach English online um, for now. But yeah. Very cool. Well, you've had a lot of teachers through here, right? <laughs> yes, a lot of teachers, and we're really excited that we can get back to school soon. Well, thanks for working. Of course. Thanks for getting vaccinated. Bye. <laughs> So exciting, actually in the building, moving up to vaccine. Here I go, about to get it in my left arm. Yikes, I'm scared. All done. Sit. Thank you. That wasn't bad at all. Nope. And it's the light at the end of the tunnel. To wait till 12.02, it's 11.49, to make sure I don't feel bad. I'll keep you posted. Okay, we're still doing the line moving thing, even after. How you feeling, Miss Metzkowitz? Oh, I, I just have all the feelings today, Miss <laughs> Good job getting your vaccine. I feel so relieved. I can't wait to come back some more. Same. <laughs> Hi, Miss Amadeus. Hi. How's your arm feel? Normal so far. Okay, good. What do we have? Eight minutes left? Yeah, it's not going to fall off, I hope. Okay, let's hope so. <laughs> and I'm free. 12.03 and I'm out of here. This is Miss Marzian signing off from Vaccine Land. Thanks, Miss Marzian, for that story. Staff members will return in several weeks to get the second round of the vaccine. Stay tuned at the end of our show to see more of our Shot of Hope selfies. Thanks to all those in the Atherton community who sent us those photos. Still no official word about the return to school. The school board met on Tuesday night with Superintendent Marty Polio and listened to several doctors and medical experts. The meeting lasted more than three hours, but there was no vote about ending NTI. The board meets again February 16th. Don't forget that February is Black History Month. All this month, Ms. Maribolds will show segments that showcase amazing Atherton students. Darren Proctor stars in the first installment of I Am Black History. Black History Month is a celebration of cultural excellence. Carter G. Woodson started this important recognition of greatness in 1926. We have greatness among us right here at Atherton High School with our students sharing their present day lived experiences via artistic expression, thus creating their own history today for future generations to come. Introducing I Am Black History. A man that has a plan, find Martin Luther King. Why did that have to shoot him? And he just had a dream to go and get that money and put on for his scene. And if you think about it, he had the same dream as me. What about Breonna Taylor or George Floyd? George had a kid, that's something you can't ignore. The cops came inside of her, harassing they kicked down her door. And then shot a couple times with left blood on the floor. 809 is a number I'll never forget. Last year I lost some people, but my little cousin, that brought me down the side. It ate my heart alive. While I was dealing with this, my granny just had died. Hit me from the blind side, stuff that make me want to cry. Let me quit all of the chatter, my heart been shattered. Every month, Black History Month. Black Lives Matter. I bet we've all learned much more about our computers and online software than we ever thought we would. But even though you might feel like an expert one day, all it takes is one little update or glitch to put you right back in square one. Larkin Ivory joins us this week with a quick tech tip that may help your online life be a little bit easier. With the coronavirus pandemic soaring across the country and keeping families at home during quarantine, students are becoming far more de dependent on technology in order to keep themselves learning as much as possible. 
In the midst of this, it can be hard for many to navigate themselves through many sophisticated apps and extensions such as Google Classroom, Google Drive, and online video call meeting programs. To bring a bit of ease to students, I thought it'd be a decent idea to identify some tips you can use on these programs that can make everything just a bit easier for all. The first area that I wanted to look at was Google Drive, a program that the entire school uses. With such a sophisticated user interface, these tips can help clear the waters and take less time for you to do your work. If you ever need just a couple of pictures to attach to your Google Slides, Docs, or anything, head over to the Tools section and go down until you see the Explore button. This great feature not only gives you the top images of your subject, but also gives you top articles and results for it in case you have any questions or need a pocket of data to prove your point. It even has a Drive tab so you can link your work with other related documents or slides you already finished. Another tool that saves a lot of time is the voice typing feature. It kind of speaks for itself as to what it does, but press the button, say what you have to say, and your English essay will be done in no time. To my surprise, many people didn't have knowledge of this, but using a laptop or desktop device, you can have multiple tabs displaying at once by separating and resizing both of them to fit the screen you have. This allows you to multitask or just save time. For instance, if you're watching a YouTube video and have to answer a couple questions on it, I've seen many people watch a portion of the vid, go to the other tab, answer the question, go back to the YouTube tab, and resume. But this strategy makes things far easier because you, you don't need to pause your video and can answer questions just as you are taking in each bit of information. Anyway, that's all the trips and tricks that I have for you today, but more can definitely be on the way for those who need them. And with that, it's Atherton on Air, and I'm Mark and Ivory, signing out. Media arts students in Video Studio Fundamentals have been learning how to shoot and edit video that tells a story with no dialogue at all. Take a look at a piece produced by junior Lily Kalin and see how you interpret her story. Thanks, Lily, and thanks to all of our Atherton On Air staff who continue to produce great content for our show despite all of our technical challenges. Before we go, Mr. Burroughs, Ms. MacArthur, and Ms. Rice would like to give a special shout out to all the upperclassmen who met with freshmen this week to share their knowledge of the Media Arts Academy. You guys were awesome, and we are lucky to have your leadership in our program. I'm Addie Shaney, and remember, what you do makes a difference.